A Georgetown man known for his unorthodox living was arrested after police say an argument spiraled out of control. Why a businessman who put up a reward for an arrest in the murders of eight family members in Ohio is no longer offering the money. How a central Kentucky boy overcame some tough odds and inspired others by running in a 5K tonight. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. We've had a stormy stretch of weather this week, but it looks like we will finally be getting a break. At the perfect time, yeah. right? Some great spring weather is in store for our Friday. We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey and your no wait weather forecast. Yeah, guys, been a little while since we've been leading the show with a quiet Defender Radar Network, but that is indeed the case across the good old Commonwealth of Kentucky. Nothing going on locally. Had some of those scattered thunderstorms a little earlier ahead of a cold front that is now pressing off to our east. A nice Nice bubble of nice air coming in from the west. Big storm system out to our west, though, toward the Rocky Mountains. We'll have to deal with that as we go toward the weekend. But initially, that bubble of nice is in here for the day on Friday. Soak it up tomorrow because by the time we go into Saturday and Sunday, this storm system that is out across parts of the Rockies already with some storms out ahead of it. Well, that is right on top of the Bluegrass State with showers and thunderstorms going up as early as Saturday morning. Short term forecast, though, up and at them tomorrow morning. A touch of some fog out there, low 50s. That's the trip into work and school. Hey, the best trip of the day is the trip home tomorrow afternoon with readings into the mid 70s in many cases, breezy and warm as we sail our way into the weekend. Now, when I come back at 11 13, I've got a brand new hour by hour forecast hot off the presses that will show how those storms this weekend can bring some heavy rains back into town. Guys, I'll see you in a bit. Chris, thank you. New tonight, neighbors called his property an eyesore, and the fight over it ended up in court. Now, years later, a Georgetown man faces even more legal trouble. And we have been following Stephen Price's story since 2012. At one point, the city of Georgetown wanted his home to be torn down. But earlier this week, police say they arrested Price after a dispute in his neighborhood. Tonight, Garrett Weimer has our top story at 11. Folks on Rucker Avenue say it's not how Stephen Price lives that bothers them most. It's how he acts. <laughs> Neighbors say on Sunday their kids were outside playing and dribbling a basketball, which apparently bothered Price. That's when they say he started trying to scare them, clanging a bell, throwing buckets, and hitting a shovel repeatedly, all while staring at the kids. That's when they called police. According to the arrest citation, the police officer who responded says Price started yelling and cussing at him after he told Price he uses a gas tiller on his garden. The officer says Price then started saying I was not his friend, a menace to my neighborhood. He then came at me in an aggressive manner with a clenched fist, putting me in fear of an assault. The citation says Price resisted arrest and officers had to tackle him to get him under control. Mr. Price? Price wasn't home when I stopped by to get his side of the story. The condition of my property is a function of horticulture. But from the time WKYT first introduced you to Stephen Price in 2012, he's been outspoken about his way of life. Am I going to spend my life on the ground for the real estate agent? No, man. And about his rocky relationship with his neighbors. Like any all any neighbors, you have your good moments and you have your, your moments of dispute. In Georgetown, Garrett Weimer. WKYT. Police charge Price with menacing, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. He was taken to the Scott County Jail, but he has since been released. Tonight, police hope surveillance video will help them find the two armed men who robbed a Nicholasville fast food restaurant. It happened last night at the Dairy Queen on South Main Street. Police say the two robbers snuck into the building while workers were closing and demanded money and cell phones. The mother of one of the workers says the robbers pistol whipped him. And they shoved him. He was trying to shove him back. And they got the best of him, made him get down on his knees, and face the corner, and put the gun up to his head. He wasn't seriously injured. Police say they're having a hard time identifying the robbers because they had their faces covered. Police did say the robbers knew exactly where to go to find the money in the store. Did a Kentucky sheriff go too far when bringing his young son to work? That's a question our investigative team tackled tonight earlier at 6. 
Clinton County Sheriff Jim Guffey told WKYT's Miranda Combs he takes his 10-year-old son to work with him on arrest warrants. WKYT uncovered that his son went with him on drug indictments, arrests back in March, and the sheriff even allowed his son to sign the intake forms at the jail. The Clinton County attorney says that should never have happened, but the sheriff told us he did nothing wrong. I haven't done nothing criminal. I have not given, put my child in harm's way. So if you're this desperate for a story for your television station, then so be it. But you had him sign an official document, an intake form at the jail. A lot of times they don't get signed by officers. So that makes it okay that your okay. nine-year-old son so, did it? So you, you want to degrade me by doing this? Then go ahead. It's not degrading. I'm just asking the question of why I, I just told to you. I just told you. I don't put my son in harm's way. This has been a controversial story, and many of you have been talking about it on our Facebook page. For example, Jennifer posted, In this crazy world we live in, where our law enforcement officers are getting shot at random just for being cops, I have to agree that it's just not safe for their children to stay at the workplace, even in small towns. But another viewer said, If we had more men like Jim Guffey teaching our children to be leaders in this drug-infested society, we would have much less crime. Why don't you tell the story as it should be told? You can watch the full story at WKYT.com and join the conversation there and on our Facebook page. New tonight, a businessman has withdrawn the reward he had offered for an arrest in the murders of eight family members in Ohio. Jeff Ruby put up a $25,000 reward after the murders in Piketon, Ohio last week. But on Twitter today, Ruby said he's no longer offering the reward because of, quote, recent complex criminal developments. Police said marijuana growing operations were found in three of the homes where the family members were killed. They've not made any arrests for the murders. The Fayette County Health Department is taking steps to fight mosquitoes and the Zika virus. Health Department leaders say they're targeting hot spots where they've received the most complaints about mosquitoes over the last two years. Starting next week, they'll go door to door in those areas to look for standing water and help homeowners keep mosquitoes away. A woman who lives in one of those areas says it's good news. I got a new grandbaby and I like to sit out here with him. We don't want that problem. The health department will also be passing out door hangers, warning people of the potential mosquito breeding grounds that they found around their home. He lost his leg just months ago, but a nine year old Jessamine County boy is not letting that slow him down. With the help of a new prosthetic leg, he ran his first 5K tonight, 3.1 miles. As Victor Puente tells us, new at 11, he did it to help other people. You guys going to stick with him? Watching her son take off, Donna Nichols knew right away she was more concerned than he was. I worried more than he did. I really wasn't ready for this. I, I postponed it. But today, he took some big steps on a leg he's had less than a month. His feet were um, not formed right. The right foot was extremely underdeveloped. So in December, doctors amputated his foot and part of his leg. He only got that prosthetic um, April 3rd, and the day after he got it, he was outside with his sisters training for this. He is so excited about it. Uh, Wong Jin has been with the Nichols since he was five and a half. He just turned nine, and Donna says he's helped her as much as she's helped him. That kid is tougher than nails. We knew that. Um, and maybe you have to be when you grow up in an orphanage because for five and a half years, that's where he was. But he doesn't surprise me. He inspires me. In Jessamine County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Very, very nice. Uh, each of the children running tonight raised $30 to help build that playground. New tonight, Eastern Kentucky University has received a large donation from some alumni. EKU leaders say a couple who wanted to stay anonymous donated $1 million to the university. They say half of the money will be used for art or art design studio scholarships, and the other half will be used for elementary education scholarships. EKU leaders say the couple told them they enjoyed their time at EKU and they wanted to pay it forward. A man dressed in a panda costume caused a major scare today at a Maryland TV station. What police say he demanded and how they stopped him in nine minutes. Also coming up, a mystery in one central Kentucky county. Why police say they haven't been able to identify a woman found dead nearly a year ago. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. 
but it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million, and you can help decide where that money goes. Sign up at Kroger.com slash community rewards and link your plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. At Gates Honda in Richmond, our grand opening will be low-key. No hot dogs, balloons, loud music, no gorillas. We have great deals waiting for you on over a hundred new Hondas. At Gates Honda in Richmond, we sell new Hondas for less because we can. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. My dad always said God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as you talk if you want to get things done. I moved my office from the top floor to the first floor when I was elected mayor to hear people's ideas. I took their ideas and cut waste, turned a deficit into a surplus, and helped create thousands of jobs. I'm Jim Gray, and I approve this message. Because both parties have good ideas, it just takes someone to listen. At Gates Honda in Richmond, we want to service your Honda, regardless of where you bought it. We believe that once you've experienced our service department, you'll never go anywhere else to service or purchase your Honda. Come see us at Gates Honda on the Bypass in Richmond. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Wild 1039. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, we've had a stormy pattern over the past several days across the area. Many of us picking up one to three inches of rain since Monday, locally higher amounts. Now we get at least a day to dry out as we go into our Friday. The system responsible for the showers and storms over the past few days off to our east into parts of West Virginia. And it's really now beginning to weaken out. Notice there's a little weak boundary on the backside of this. To the north of that, we have some chilly air. Right along that, it's cool, but it's never really going to make it in here. That mild bubble across western Kentucky and western parts of Tennessee going to hold pat as we go through the next couple of days. And as that area of low pressure continues to work away from us, that nice air that is to our west begins to rotate into central and eastern Kentucky. 65 right now, Lexington, 66 Richmond. Look at Frankfurt. We've dropped it down to 59 degrees. Cool spot across the entire area. 60, not too far behind that in Monticello, Wayne County. Defender Radar Network, hello and goodbye. You've had a nice run over the past several days. We've given you way too much air time with all those showers and storms, though. 76 for a high temperature tomorrow. That is your Friday forecast. It looks absolutely gorgeous. First thing tomorrow morning, low 50s. Touches some fog, especially near the waterways in the valleys. How about your evening? on your Fridays, low 60s coming up by around 11 o'clock or so. The overall setup for this weekend, by the time we go into Saturday, low pressure out across the Plain States, warmer air surging in across Kentucky with some showers and some storms. That same low will then, on Sunday, work right across the area with some additional rounds of showers and storms. Now this one, unlike the little area of low pressure we have to our east tonight by early next week, We'll be able to tap some cooler air, and it may turn downright chilly at some point before the week is over, especially on some of those mornings. First things first, that's the thunderstorm action for the weekend. It does come after a very nice Friday. Tomorrow with temperatures on the hour by hour into the low and mid-70s north, mid and upper 70s across the south. 11 o'clock tomorrow night, many of us still into the 60s, though the sunset tomorrow evening should be gorgeous. If you're a big fan of sunsets, this is the setup. You get those ice crystal clouds. Could be a blazing sunset on a Friday evening, leading us into some rounds of showers and storms on Saturday. No, it isn't going to rain the entire day Saturday. Will we have to dodge some showers and storms? Yes, we will. Not only Saturday, but into Saturday night and Sunday as well. So the lawns are going to get another nice drink of water. Won't rain all day Sunday either with the threat for some showers and storms with us right on through Sunday night. Computer models tonight coming in a little beefier, if you will, with the rainfall totals. This latest model is now pushing close to two inches for the upcoming weekend. It's not coming all at once, but with some hot spots over the past few days picking up 
two, three, or even local four inch rain amounts, we could talk about some local high water issues in any one location with a shower or thunderstorm over the weekend. So we'll keep you up to date on that one tomorrow. We've got plenty of time to play with that with a new hour by hour that keeps coming in tomorrow morning. Michael will have the very latest on the updated weekend forecast starting at 4 30 75 tomorrow afternoon beautiful conditions then the weekend rolls around and it starts to rain early next week we'll turn it cooler guys 60s for highs for kentucky derby week but enjoy tomorrow tomorrow looks absolutely gorgeous it yeah. does thanks chris you bet kentucky kingdom opens for the season saturday and this year there's a new ride that's a first for north america it makes it different in eight minutes Families are about good times, making special memories together. And it all starts at Bluegrass RV. At Bluegrass RV, we're all about indoor comfort for your family's outdoor adventures. And we offer payments so low that you can afford the family fun all year long. So come see us on North Broadway in Lexington and let the good times begin. Family memories start at Bluegrass RV. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You could play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win, and a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination, funding education. Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America that costs less than a competition? Honda's got it! During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, we designed 2016 Accords, the number one selling sedan, just $1.99 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. Accords, available with Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more, just $1.99 a month or zero due at signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda dealers. May 3rd and 4th, EKU Center for the Arts. Get tickets at EKUCenter.com. We're pleased to announce that we now have Honda in Richmond, which means you can shop and compare the four leading brands all in one location. So where else can you shop and compare the four best brands, be only minutes from Fayette County, work with one salesperson, and only have to have your car appraised once? For your convenience, out of respect for your time, we now offer Gates Honda, Gates Hyundai, Gates Nissan, and Toyota South all on the bypass in Richmond. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. New tonight, a strange and frightening scene played out today at a Maryland TV station. Police say a man dressed in a costume barricaded himself inside the station and claimed to have a bomb. Police ended up shooting him. Craig Boswell has the latest from Baltimore. Police shot the suspect the dressed in a panda outfit outside the Baltimore Fox affiliate after he ignored their commands to stop and show his hands. Employees say the incident began shortly after 1 p.m. Thursday when a car in the parking lot was set on fire and the suspect demanded to be led inside the television station. He's wearing a surgical mask and wearing sunglasses. And he had a flash drive that he said he wanted to get the, the information from the flash drive on the air. The suspect claimed he had a bomb strapped to his chest. Those devices were actually chocolate candy bars wrapped in aluminum foil with wiring uh, connecting each of them. A security guard evacuated the building and kept the man contained in an outer vestibule before he suddenly walked out. My first instinct was trying to keep him calm. I told him I couldn't let him in, but um, you know, I'd be glad to talk to him and see you know, what I can do to help him out. Station employees are calling the security guard a hero. He takes his job very seriously, and, and God bless him for it. He was calm, cool, collected, and handled it. The suspect was loaded into an ambulance and taken to the hospital. He is expected to survive. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Baltimore. A security guard says the flash drive the suspect had, as I mentioned in that story, contained a video of him talking about space and the government. 
Investigators now say they're considering an overdose as a possible cause of Prince's death. A law enforcement official said tonight investigators are also looking into whether a doctor prescribed the singer drugs in the weeks before his death. And they want to know if a doctor was on Prince's plane when it made an emergency landing in Illinois less than a week before the death. The Drug Enforcement Administration is getting involved in the investigation. New tonight, state police are again asking for help identifying a woman whose body was found last June. Police say the remains were found in a wooded area about a half a mile from Interstate 65 in Hart County. They think she was between 24 and 47 years old, but they don't have any clues as to who she was or how she died. She was skeletonized and partially mummified uh, several months. She had been out at, in the elements. Police have released a picture of a clay facial reconstruction showing what the woman may have looked like. They say the woman was wearing a necklace with the letter S and pink earrings. She also had on Wilson brand sneakers, size 9. New tonight, Lexington police are looking for a stolen trailer filled with tools. They say the trailer was stolen early yesterday morning from the parking lot of the Days Inn on North Broadway. This surveillance picture shows the theft. Police say a general contractor who regularly travels owns that trailer. They say the trailer had tools worth more than $10,000 along with firearms inside. Police think the suspect drove a 1970s Chevrolet or GMC pickup with aluminum mud flaps. New tonight, a temporary restaurant has now opened at a state park in Floyd County nearly a month after a fire. That fire shut down the lodge, including a restaurant at Jenny Wiley State Resort Park. The new restaurant is in the convention center by the amphitheater. But the lodge is still closed, and park leaders are not sure when it will reopen. Investigators also are not sure what caused the fire. Kentucky Kingdom kicks off a new season this weekend, and this year the Louisville Amusement Park has a new roller coaster. It's called Storm Chaser, and it's the first roller coaster in North America to make a complete turn on a 100 foot drop. Park owners say they've spent $53 million in redeveloping Kentucky Kingdom since reopening the park two years ago. The Rolex Kentucky three-day event began today at the Kentucky Horse Park. And tonight, event organizers hosted a charity fundraiser at the livery on East Main Street. Commemorative Maker's Mark bottles featuring the three-day event were auctioned off. We've started naming an official charity to the event. Uh, this year, we, we chose Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance. Uh, their focus is making sure that we take care of the equine after their careers are over. The Rolex Kentucky three-day event continues through Sunday at the Horse Park. Coach Cal, sweating just a little bit with a treadmill message today, Rob. <laughs> Leave it to Cal to spice up a quiet Thursday afternoon in April. And the NFL draft beginning, a pair of quarterbacks at the top, and three Buckeyes go early on. Sports is now. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. What we do is not about sickness. It's about living. All of life's moments, big and small. Each triumph and challenge. Because you were made to live and live well. And we're here to make sure you do. Let us show you how care is supposed to be. Lexington Clinic. Your doctors for life. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is 118 million, and Saturday's Powerball jackpot is up to 314 million. Toyota of Lexington wants to sell 48 Camrys in 48 hours. Hurry in this weekend and receive an extra $500 bonus cash on all new 2016 Camry models. Combine the $500 bonus cash with the $1,500 customer cash and receive $2,000 in instant savings. Or qualified buyers can take advantage of 0% APR and $500 bonus cash. Look for our Green Saver coupon and save up to $5,000 off MSRP on select models. 48 Camrys in 48 hours. Going on now at Green's Toyota. Great people. Great cars. Great Green's.
Once through, we'll stop Donald Trump. See, Ted Cruz too? It's in your my pape. Who? My pape. Tape? Pape, my pape. The conservative running for Congress who helped Trump build the wall. Will this Mike Pape help Ted Cruz repeal Obamacare? See? We must stop Mike Pape. Vamanos! I'm Mike Pape, and I approve this message because no one will stop me from standing up for you. Get ready for Kroger's Kentucky Derby Festival, April 28th through Derby Eve, and be a part of America's greatest community festival with nine full days of local and national act concerts, the infamous Chow Wagon, various festival events, and more. Admission is free with a 2016 Pegasus pen, $5 at your neighborhood Kroger, and $7 at events. Hurry into Kroger for center cut pork chops for just $1.99 a pound, and red tomatoes on the vine for only 99 cents a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Performing live for 40 years. Now, he's coming to your town. John Mellencamp. October 26th, EKU Center for the Arts. Latest album, Plain Spoken. Available now. John Mellencamp with special guest, Carlene Carter. Tickets are on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. at EKUCenter.com. A musical history of John Mellencamp. First round of the NFL Draft tonight in Chicago and a stunning development there as Ole Miss offensive lineman Laramie Tunsil, who went 13 to Miami, admitted taking money from Ole Miss coaches. Then he was ushered off. Commissioner Roger Goodell announcing the number one pick. With the first pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Jared Goff, quarterback, California. No surprise, the Rams taking Goff. He started every game in his three years at Cal, 96 touchdown passes. With the second pick, Philadelphia took quarterback Carson Wentz, North Dakota State, seventh time in the draft that quarterbacks have gone 1-2. With the third pick, San Diego went for Ohio State defensive end Joey Bosa. And then another Buckeye next, running back Ezekiel Elliott going to the Dallas Cowboys. We take a look at the top ten. Another Buckeye is there. In addition to Boza and Elliott, Eli Apple out of Ohio State goes number 10 to the Giants. The Buckeyes had five in the top 20. The Bengals with a 24th pick tonight. They took Houston defensive back William Jackson III. Jackson led the nation in pass breakups with 23. Kentucky recruiting coordinator Vince Morrow has offered a scholarship to Dayton wideout Le Christian Blue Smith. Smith, who is 6'6", tweeting out today that he had been offered a chance to play both basketball and football at UK. Last guy to do that was Derek Ramsey back in 1975. Smith is in the class of 2018. He has received football offers from Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State. John Calipari had a treadmill message for the Big Blue Nation today that he put on his website. Cal is getting in shape. He was on the treadmill watching the last five minutes of the 2012 championship game. And he said he's thinking of coaching for a long, long time. And what would that mean if I'm at Kentucky for another 20? What would that mean? Championships, draft picks, number one, Lotteries, no doubt I would have 12 guys in the NBA All-Star game, no doubt. What about wins? So let me see if I can get in that kind of, that kind of shape <laughs> to when I'm 75 and still doing this stuff. UK baseball will take on Auburn this weekend. Only four SEC series remaining in the regular season. In each of the last two conference series, the Cats were on the verge of being swept, but catcher Troy Squire stepped up. He had the game winning bases loaded double to beat Vandy, and then in game three against Arkansas, Squire's got the walk off base hit here to win it. Friday night, I had a chance. It was gone second and third, and I. Uh grounded out to the shortstop and that night me and Javon my roommate we were sitting at the dinner table just discussing the game or whatnot I said hey if I come up again this weekend with runners in scoring position I swear I'll, I'll put a put the ball in play and get a hit so sure enough the next day I got my opportunity and it was the same thing you know my approach never changed uh, sitting fastball timed up the fastball pretty well and then 
luckily got one and just put a swing on it. And Georgetown College wrapping up spring football with a black and orange game. Second quarter, no score. Quarterback Clay McKee starred on this field at Scott County. 70 yards to the former UK walk on Ross Cox. The orange team would answer a few plays later. Ozzie Mann over the middle to Allen Williams. 65 yards to the end zone. And late in the game on a fourth and one, Black gets a lot more than a yard. Corey Kropinski. Will take it all away. Bill Cronin overall pleased with the spring. You know, it was fun. The guys had fun. I saw some aggressiveness. I think we're pretty good in our defensive front, and I think we've had troubles with that all, all uh, spring long. So that's good to see because everything starts up front, and I, I think we've made a lot of headway in the offensive and defensive line, but uh, uh, D line got a little bit better of us today. And Nyquist will be working out on the Keeneland track tomorrow. We'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm Denise. I'm Crystal. I'm Jamie. Enjoy our show! See more of our show and start enjoying yours at visitmo.com. Toyota on Nicholasville is proud to present our all-new rewards program. Now rewarding points for almost everything. Service your Toyota. Points. New tires. Points. Visit the cafe. Points. Take a test drive. Points. Buy a Toyota. Lots of points. Redeem, Redeem your, your points for service, service appointments, appointments, merchandise, a new car, and more. Check out the all-new rewards program at Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. Toyota on Nicholasville.com. Sing the jingle. Points. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. Thanks. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. The Buy 4, Save 4 sale is on now. Mix and match great items like Pepsi, Doritos, Bounty Paper Towels, and more. Great food, low prices. At Kroger. Kentucky Lottery jackpot sequence has been initiated. Prepare for current jackpot amount. Saturday's Powerball jackpot is $314 million. We started with the class-leading RX. We gave it paddle shifters to help you command the road. A sport mode to help you control the road. And a sport-tuned suspension to help you connect with the road. The Lexus RX F-Sport. This is the RX Elevated. Lease the 2016 RX 350 for 419 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. If time is infinite, why is there never enough of it? A John Deere One Family Tractor with Quick Park lets you attach and go. iMatch Quick Hitch gives you more time for what you love. So it takes less work to do more work. Auto Connect Drive Over Mower Deck, done. They're not making any more land, but there's plenty of time if you know where to look. Stop by our dealership for special offers taking place for a limited time. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend only for our big weekend warehouse sale. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Queen bed, $177. Rustonic queen mattress and box, $288. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. Treat your family tonight to Fazoli's Baked Spaghetti. For a limited time, this Fazoli's favorite is only $4.99. Spaghetti with marinara sauce topped with our special blend of cheeses and baked to perfection. Hurry in before the $4.99 Baked Spaghetti is gone. Fazoli's. I'm Ian. I'm Christina. Enjoy, Enjoy our, our show. show. <laughs> See more of our show and start enjoying yours at visitmode.com. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert is less than a minute away here on WKYT. Tonight's guests include the cast of the CBS drama series The Good Wife and Anderson Cooper. We are 25 minutes from Friday. Mm -hmm. How about that? And then the weekend. It's all smiles for our Friday. I'm ready for uh, Friday and into the weekend. Tomorrow your emojis are ready as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, for the first time in a while, they're breaking out the shades again tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures in the mid-60s. All right, we go from the shades to the rain gear <laughs> on the emojis for our Saturday and our Sunday. Not going to rain all day on Saturday or Sunday, but, yeah, we're going to dodge uh, some of those stronger thunderstorms on and off 
both days. So a little frown action. There. That's an angry emoji, <laughs> it looks like. There's an angry emoji. Thanks for watching tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.